Hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris where the Kerbal Space Program is continuing to attempt to defeat the Pritharan Scourge. I haven't been in Stellaris for a little bit of time because of other games like No Man's Sky and Elite but here we are. Uh, we most recently sent a science ship to investigate this injured queen and try to capture the queen. I was hoping it would be able to sneak by the defenses of the Pretheran Scourge but I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna start time running right now but it's already getting pounded by their defenses so we're going to have to send a fleet over in order to secure the injured queen. Now I've uh, done some upgrading of our ships in the ship designer so now I've got the Invincible X battleship for instance which is upgraded from the Invincible. You can see a lot of uh, level 2, level 3, and level 4 weapons there. Here it's all level 3 and level 4. Uh, a basic bomber wing there and all level 5 uh, shields, armor, and reactors there whereas we had a mix before. So complete. all of the classes now have new versions with uh, upgraded weapons and shields. Research complete. And taking a look at our research, which is uh, coming close to completion here, we've, we're going to be increasing our explosive weapon attack speed and energy weapon attack speed, so that's good. And here we had just researched uh, something to expand our border range. So taking a look, naval capacity, I still don't feel like we're ever going to build enough to justify increasing that. Core sector systems I would like. So, yeah, I think I would like to increase my core sector systems. Now, while we're talking here, much is going on. Uh, the third fleet is at Kosk. I, I feel like I need to pause to go over the whole situation here. So, again, uh, here is our Kerbal Empire, if you will. The Pretheran Scourge is here. Uh, the battle lines are mainly here at Kosk. And we were trying to connect down to our territories here. Just to give you the basic scope of things, this is a vassal here, vassal of ours. And this is also another territory. We would really like to be able to connect to this territory here by taking uh, systems around here. But we're not there yet. The Sejathari Kingdom still exists. We've had wars with them before. Uh, currently, we uh, do not have any wars going on. So we've made peace. The most recent other war we were in was with the Tillanesi, and un uh, sort of unfortunately, as far as I'm concerned, they've been absorbed by the Felnal Coalition. So now the Felnal Coalition is over here and over here and a little bit over there, and they're our allies right now. So technically, we're here. That's a vassal. That's an ally. That's an ally, and uh, but I don't trust them. I just don't trust them. Uh, other large empires exist, but if we can take back our territory, we will be quite a large large empire in our own right. We won that war, and that was basically the Philnal Coalition absorbing them. So yeah, Philnal Coalition likes us, lots of people like us. Actually, the Kerbals are very well liked. You may note that we are even well liked by the Pretheran Scourge, who we are fighting, who we have a war with, so that's a bit weird. I really would have preferred, instead of that kind of uh, like or dislike, I really need to know in, at a glance which of my, my areas like me and dislike me. That would be nice. You know, which uh, worlds might have discontent. Now there is the faction screen. So uh, if we take a look at factions, there are these factions that dislike us. But before we get a splinter group like a faction, I would like to know ahead of time whether there is discontent that I have to quell. Oh, there's a military station from the Pretheran Scourge right there. Ah, oh, man. See, so, yeah, we had that whack-a-mole situation previously, and we, we need to, we'll need to wipe those out. Um, hopefully they don't actually generate fleets when they build these defense stations. But yeah, we're gonna have to send a fleet in there to clear that up. A pretty substantial fleet. It takes like 7,000 military force to do that. AI attitude map mode. Wish I had some sort of legend. I suppose there must be some kind of legend at some point. Don't know. Okay, 
So that's the basic idea of what's been going on. Our main goal is to recapture Dithathoru, but to do that we need to make uh, cover our rear, if you will, and make sure they're not going to attack us. So our first goal is to send this ship, uh, this fleet, in to attack these outposts here. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, we have engaged preference scourge again. It said uh, technology research. Research complete. Swarm spawning pools. Oh, there we go. Uh, battleship assembly yards. Gauss cannon would be nice. Well, let's go with kinetic weapon attack speed. We increased the attack speed of the other stuff. Let's increase that one. Meanwhile, let's get some other ships building. Jeb needs to build an advanced cruiser. And I updated the Colossus class, so that's fine. Oddman could build some destroyers, perhaps. Well, let's have one destroyer there. Lout. Build me another laser kraken vein. Okay. But maybe I should move some of our other forces to prepare. Uh, see, the construction ships are already moving. Fleet and there's another Prethren Scourge military station there. Dang it. I had a military force here, but apparently they weren't ready to kill things. Now they they allowed they allowed a base to be built. I hate that. At least one of our fleets has gone missing in action. Oh, uh probably means that they have to retreat. Shoot, that's not good. Okay, physics research complete. complete. Situation log energy complete. credits plus five percent. Boy, I, I really don't need more complete. energy credits. X-ray laser though. That could be good. The Empire wide modifiers are sort of nifty. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna go with X-ray lasers. I'm waiting for the construction of an Invincible X battleship, which Kerbin is now constructing. And that should have like 2,000 military power. It may not be enough to overwhelm what they have in Ditha Thor, though. We will keep building. Let's keep building. Complete. Let's have some Corvettes. Not have the eggs in one basket kind of situation. Someone has captured the inj injured Prethoran Queen that was discovered in the Wild Moral System. The creature has not only been fully healed, but its connection to the rest of the Scourge has been severed. It now serves its new masters and reports suggest that it has already started a new brood. Oh no, we were too slow. Someone else got the Queen. Ah. Okay, well that's a problem, isn't it? Uh, hopefully it was somebody friendly. Maybe it was the film no coalition. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Well, that's a film no coalition fleet and Gagashi, Gagasi consciousness fleet and domesticated Prethren. It looks like Gagasi consciousness got them. Okay, but. There's still the Prethren Scourge here. They've uh, gotten all the benefits and are they gonna fight the Prethren Scourge or are they gonna use that just to bite into what used to be my territory? I don't know. Okay, we have our new battleship. The battleship C uh, C7 Aerospace Mark II 3. What a name. Oh, Preference Scourge complete. Constructor moving. Problem is the constructors take so little time to build those stations. It takes and, it, and they seem to be very quick about deploying. And look how fast they're going. 
Yeah, my fleets just can't catch up to some of Let's these constructors help. sometimes. Well, finally these guys are gonna get it. But, there's that big base there. Hostile fleet engaged. I mean, see, uh, I just sent these fleets to get that, that constructor and now it's already built a base. I'm just gonna try and get, get them to kill the constructor. But I, I don't think they can stand up to the base. Yeah, that ship got this totally de demolished by the base. Oh man. Forget it. They, they go on a rampage, we go on a rampage. Let's get our fleet together. I'm sick of this. Okay, time for Death of Thoru. Really? Why would we have to go around all over the place? No, we don't. Construction complete. All right. Well, our main fleet is going there. Here we go. Well, we've already lost part of our force, but overall, it seems like we're winning. We've lost a huge chunk of our force. Okay, attacking the Star Nest here. But we still got two big bases to deal with. You can see our world Omnitech there, which has stood vig vigilant for all this time. Situation okay, there's a new battleship in Kerbal. I'm just gonna send it right here. And we have enough to build another battleship. I'm just building battleships left and right here, folks. No point uh, being shy about this situation. Uh, it requires 2,000. Well, wait. After another month, we'll have enough, I think. No, not quite. Okay, now after another month we'll have enough. Gotta save up for those battleships. Okay, our wayward corvette group got destroyed, but uh, drew fire away from the main fleet, we'll say. Construction complete. How's our research going? Okay, just making sure I didn't miss some sort of research complete message. Yeah, this... This base is taking forever. The longer it takes, and the longer uh, we're occupied trying to free this world, the more likelihood they build bases somewhere else. So, sort of like that. Okay, now we have enough to build another battleship. Can't believe there's a Prethren Scourge station in Valentine and Nitrus. That's horrible. Very close to the heart of our civilization here. Engaged. Yeah, I think the thing to do is to make sure that the fleet stance is aggressive on those. And this one, let's go. Oh, there, there's a, there's a thing that I want them to aggress here. Uh, you. Uh, yeah, every, everybody should be aggressive. No more passive. Situation log updated. Let's see. I just set this one to aggressive. Okay, now it's going to move to attack that constructor. Good, good. Yeah, that was my problem. My defense fleets were all on passive. That's not smart. Okay, we've almost got there. Planetary fortifications down. Okay, we've got uh, physics research done. I want neutronium for forge, maybe? Gamma laser, quantum destabilizer, such weapons. Well, we can find out where this resource is. But, really, the forges and, like, the Batharian, it's all very cumbersome sometimes, but... 
Yeah, let's do that. Situation okay, we complete. have done it. Merge those. And... Uh, it's just all battleships and cruisers here. Um, Omnitech. I really need to build a spaceport here. We can't be sending stuff out here all the time. Okay. But now let's go to Zosma and try and clear this whole thing up. As the same sort of base situation, they've got some extra defenses there. There's another Preference Scourge military station in Mang there. Don't know what good Mang is, but I'm not gonna let any of them stay. That's it. That's the that is the end of the Preference Scourge, folks. We split their their territory. We're going to start pushing in on them. I want to make sure I engage these guys over here before I deal with those guys over there. Hostile fleet engaged. I wonder why these guys never uh, did anything. Our fleet could sure do with some uh, rebuilding. Anyway, um, more battleship, more cruisers. Our fleet could do with some repairs. They're only at 70% health. Do we like command these this abyssal flotilla? No. There's an allied flotilla that's just sitting in Wamoro here. Not doing anything. So I don't know what these these star hives and star nests do. Do they if they pr produce new uh, Pretheran Scourge ships. If they do, then that's a problem that they're there. If they don't, then Situation I might be alright. I might be able to uh, clean them up slowly. There's an actual spaceport. It says Zosma 6 spaceport controlled by the Pretheran Scourge. Hopefully, it takes a spaceport, sport, spaceport like that Hostile in order to build Pretheran Scourge ships. But on the whole, we're doing well. Construction complete. Things are happening in our empire while we focus on this. Still a lot of energy credits that I need to figure out how to spend. Mainly because I'm not paying attention to stuff. Maybe I should replace some power plants with things that deal with minerals. But this is too good a power plant. One food? I think they can do without one food. Let's build... Mining network. Yeah. Okay, that's all the upgrading I can do right now. Research Lots of influence, too. Okay, kinetic weapon attack speed has been researched. Leadership androids allowed. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Improved bomber wing? That could be good. Let's do that. Swarmer missiles are cool. But yeah, let's go with that. It's funny that inflicted energy damage is zero, because I'm pretty sure we have lasers on. My battleships have lasers, all of them. So why is the inflicted energy damage zero? It's all explosive damage, all torpedoes. It's like they never get into laser range or something. Really our force, our military force here is just four battleships now. Uh, it's sort of scary. Situation log updated. Maybe I should just keep building. We, we are apparently very good at battleships. Okay, bombarding Zosma Six. Now I should send my science ships to investigate the battle remains. Come on, science ship. Okay, administrative efficiency has been researched, so we get an extra core sector system. Let's see, food plus five percent. I like the empire-wide modifi uh, modifiers like that. Um, resettlement costs minus ten percent. I figure. 
I don't like the share the burden thing. Hmm. Let's just get the food plus five percent. We need to rebalance things and make sure we're not uh, producing so much food because we don't need it and we can uh, reassign those tiles to minerals and that'll be good for our productivity. Gagasi Consciousness declared war on the Sigithari Kingdom? Oh no. Well, that's annoying. Again, I want a piece of the Sigithari Kingdom, but here the Gagasi Consciousness, which is huge, huge is going after them and might cause me problems. Taking a look at our alliance, it's just me, the Philnol Coalition, and the Bildross Hierarchy. The Bildross Hierarchy... Um, I don't even know where they are. Oh, there they are. That's it. That's the Bildross Hierarchy. So it's just really me and the Philnol Coalition. Yeah, the Felnal Coalition isn't uh, really helpful to any great extent. Hostile they have this English. Abyssal Flotilla here, but they're not uh, using it. Maybe if I send uh, my fleet over, my fleet can bring them along. Updated. But let me clear up Zosma here first. Okay, Migration Tree Broken. Um, those are people that don't involve me, so okay. The Kerbals are uninterested. Well, a lot of people are breaking their migration treaties. That's... I didn't even... I don't even know how to break a treaty, treaty in particular, especially the migration ones. Okay, we got some extra research points. Yeah, probably we've got a... Thing that doesn't the oh okay uh ah Menkara's preference scourge stations I need I need a second fleet capable of dealing with all this stuff too situation log updated okay Zosma has been cleared construction complete. while Morrow looks to be well let's see if we can bring our friendly fleets along for the ride or something. I don't know if they're gonna come. But if we could get them along, then uh, clearing up Menkar and Mang would not be a big problem. So that'd be good. I do want. To, I need to claim Menkar. So I'm gonna try and claim Menkar. Where is a good construction ship? I've got plenty of influence to spend on building frontier outposts. I'm gonna get into orbit around while Moro 2 and then see if these guys want to come along for the ride or not. If not, well, it's gonna be a bit harder. Let's take a look. Uh, I've been assembling some ships at Dithathoru. Now, let's see. Uh, we need another admiral, except for Nichelle Kerman. Mac Kerman. Yeah, I like Mac Kerman. Okay. Yeah, Mac. Right. You are in charge of this fleet. Okay, looks like we've got a good fleet forming there. While Moro. I don't know. Let's see if Michelle Kerman can convince them to come along. I don't know, sometimes we have these constructor ships or. Oh, okay, that's a mining station. Sometimes we have ships that I, I don't quite understand what they're up to. Now, taking a look at the placement, maybe if I move our fleet over on this side and try and attack this, we won't be attacked by that one. If we can tackle one at a time, it should be safer, I think. Maybe I shouldn't have laser geckos. Maybe that's a problem. Maybe I should just have rockets the whole way. We were never able to scan the Prethoran Scourge ships, so we don't know what they're weak to. Five battleships. Tales will be sung about their exploits. And 
and all the cruisers, destroyers, and corvettes that they fail to protect. Trade deal offers, star charts. Oh, alright. Just to make them still happy with us. We don't want them upset with us, because again, that Kagasi consciousness is this bunch here. And uh, hey, sharing our star charts might mean that they're interested in attacking somebody else far, far away. Okay, it looks like Hostile we're fleet engaged. We're building our frontier outpost. Excellent. It's good. We should be able to lay claim to Zosma as well. After we clear Mankar and Mang, the next goal will be to unify our empire again by closing this gap here. And then we're going to have to go inside our empire and clear up the remainder of the Prethoran Scourge. So Plav and Vimas are the main main targets because they have actual worlds there and probably probably shipyards. How's Dithathor doing as far as a shipyard is concerned? Okay, looks like we have a shipyard here. That is good. Let's start uh, upgrading it though. That costs a lot of minerals. But that probably means that our fleet can uh, pull into there in order to repair. So as long as these battleships can keep it together, we can get them repaired soon. Well, they seem to be intact, 73% health, so let me move them on to Mang. Oh, but that's a tough one. All of the enemy forces are pretty close together. Well, let's try it. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. Uh, abort, abort, abort. Uh, go to Dithop Thoru and heal first, then we'll try Mang. That's safer. Okay, we have built our Frontier Outpost at Walmaro. We already had a sign station there. But we need to extend our influence so we can build other stuff. Uh, we don't have uh, stations here, so let's do that. There we go. Okay, where are where are our other constructor fleets? Hostile fleet detected. Oh yeah, where? Oh shoot, twenty thousand coming at this Thoru. Oh man. Oh boy. Uh, let's merge these two. Evading hostile fleet. Uh, I didn't expect twenty point six thousand. We've only got 12,000 here, no allies. I don't know where they came. I mean, probably from Plov and Vimas, and they've been just sitting there the whole time until now. Man. Okay, well, uh, uh, 12.6 thousand. What can we do? Let's go for it. Hopefully... The shell Kerman can pull, Debris pull it through. I don't know. Well, they're attacking the stations, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. And, Station under attack. Well, they weren't that distracted by the stations. They're definitely turning around to engage my fleet. Science ship under attack. Not without destroying everything else too, though apparently. Yeah, it's, this is going to be a tough one for Nichelle. The opponent has quite a little bit of experience in battle, too. I think their weapons just pass through our shields. I don't think, uh... I don't think they bother with our shields very much. We're too busy beating the Swarmlings. Oh no, they are doing damage to our shields. They do have a mix of weapons. They don't have shields. We 
We lost the battleship. Uh, I think we lost our admiral too. Hostile fleet detected. Okay, I'm just gonna say retreat here. Situation log updated. Jeez. Hostile fleet engaged. Station under attack. Yeah, this is not good times. I don't want to lose Dithopthoru again. It's not looking good for us. Hostile fleet engaged. All right, let's build some more cruisers. I might have to reconsider our Hostile weapon setup. We might not have the best weapon mix to deal with the enemy. I think... Well, we have reclaimed the Thopthoru temporarily, but I think I'm going to pause it here with, uh, with our success so far in this episode starting to be overturned with the arrival of this new fleet. That's what we're going to have to tackle with in the next episode. All right. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.